the food stylist. I make food look beautiful and photo ready for cookbooks, magazines, and ads. I'm gonna take a boring, average roasted chicken and make it look amazing. So I have chickens. They're raw, uncooked, obviously, because they're like naked. I bought four chickens just to make sure that I had a chicken that had the wingtips intact, the skin wasn't torn. I'm going to dry off the chickens try and get any liquid that's on the skin absorbed because that's the way the skin is going to crisp up. So when you see an image of a roasted chicken somewhere, whether it's in the grocery store or maybe on a menu, it's plump. You know, it's just like a little football of a chicken. And this one is really flat. So the one way to do that is to stuff it, but we don't wanna stuff the chicken with food like you probably would if you were just roasting a chicken to have for dinner. We're gonna stuff it with paper towels. You can also use aluminum foil. Make sure that it fills that entire cavity on the inside of the chicken. I know that this is not the most enjoyable part, but it's essential to food styling a chicken. Already I've only put two pieces of paper towel in there and you can tell a difference from the chicken being flat to like really kind of being its best self that also helps soak up any of that extra chicken juice that's on the inside of the chicken, which we don't really care about, we don't really want. The next thing is tightening the skin, and the way we're gonna do that is with T-pins, which are super handy. So I'm taking the skin and pulling it back towards the back of the chicken where the legs are, and then I'm just tucking it under. We'll take the T-pins out because you'll definitely be able to see them, but what this does is it allows, when you put the chicken into the oven, that skin is pulled that way so it won't shrink. I'm gonna do the same thing on the front like I did on the back. I'm just gonna pull the skin down, basically just as tight as it'll go without making it look weird. I'll just kind of make it so we don't see the front of the chicken when we do our final beauty because like that's not attractive. Nobody wants to see just like a hollow neck of a chicken or what used to be a neck. That's kind of sad. The vegans are gonna hate me. Last thing I'm gonna pin are the wings because I want them to be like really close to the body so they don't brown quicker than the body, but then it also holds them in place so that they don't kind of fall out to the side. The last thing I'm gonna do before I put the chicken in the oven is truss the legs together in the back uh, to give it that truly iconic roasted chicken shape. And he's so cute, look at him. He's like so plump and uniform. He's like a little nugget. So I'm gonna take the chicken and put it on a prepared baking sheet with a wire rack. What the rack does is it elevates the chicken so it actually is getting circulation underneath too. So now I'm gonna put this guy in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 or 30 minutes. We're gonna let the skin dry out and get a little bit of color on it and then we'll uh, move on to the next step. Really, I know that you've been wondering why there are bottles of Blue Dawn well, I'm gonna show you. For food styling, it needs to be the most brown it can be with the most even color, no splotches, nothing like that. And in order to achieve that, you have to fake it in a way. So that's what we're doing is making a paint mixture to brush onto the chicken um, to give it the color that we want. It's kind of a secret mixture, so I'm not gonna like tell you exactly what I'm putting in there, but you know, Blue Dawn is, is definitely one of those things. I'm just making a concoction. I'm just adding things. You can see these things, so you can kind of get an idea of what they are. I'm gonna get one of my tester chickens and brush a little bit of the mixture on to make sure it's the color that I want. The Dawn is what is helping it stick onto the chicken, so it's almost kind of um, creating a, an adhesive effect, but then it also gives it that glossy finish, which is essential. So I'm really happy with the color of the mixture on the raw chicken. So now I'm gonna get my beauty chicken that's been briefly cooked in the oven and work on that. Um, the skin is really nice and tight. It's definitely dried out. And then we have a little bit of golden color happening right here, which is very nice. I can definitely tell that the chicken isn't cooked all the way through, which is totally fine. When a chicken cooks all the way through, it like deflates a little bit, the skin gets a little wrinkly, which is not anything that we want. So now I'm gonna start painting the chicken 
We'll add the color on in layers. I'll start with one, and then if I feel like we need to have more color, I'll add more. Now that I'm adding this moisture back on top of it, I wish it was a little less wrinkly. You can kind of see here. I may have added too much soap to the mixture, which is why it's not acting exactly the way that I want it to. So I think I might have to correct that a little bit. But all in all, I think it still looks pretty good. I'm happy with the way the chicken looks for now, but I definitely want to put it back in the oven at 400 degrees for a little bit longer, let the skin tighten up, and we'll see how it looks. So it's pretty normal in food styling to have a backup of everything. And not just a backup, but like a backup for the backup. So <laughs> this is the backup. And the couple things that I'm really liking about this chicken, it has already been in the oven. The skin looks a little bit tighter. It's a little bit browner in places. I like the shape a little bit more. So now I'm gonna paint this one and see if I like it more. Um, I really do like this chicken more than the other one. One, because the skin is less wrinkly on this one. Um, and also because I think the first chicken, there was too much soap in my mixture, which probably helped the skin become more wrinkly on that other guy. I'm basically blending in this mixture onto the skin of the chicken. I really want this to look like it has been roasted and it's completely golden brown. I'm really super happy with the way this one looks in particular. I'm gonna put it back in the oven at 400 degrees for just a couple more minutes, let that skin tighten up, and then I'll show you what this one looks like compared to that first one that I made. This is chicken one, and this is chicken two. So with chicken one, the skin was a little off, the mixture wasn't quite right. Put it back in the oven anyway to see if it would help, but then it got brown in some uneven places, but that's okay because there's always a backup. Chicken two turned out a whole lot better. The mixture is exactly what it needs to be. So we don't need this guy anymore, so bye. So I'm gonna take the beauty chicken and touch it up just a little bit more. So you can still sometimes see the brush stroke. So instead of stroking the brush, I'll just dab it onto the spot so it doesn't look like you painted. Okay, so for the final touch, I'm gonna spray it with some Pam. This is a must have in any food stylist kit. The Pam gives it that final shine, that extra beautiful coat on it that makes it look moist and ready to eat. So sometimes when you spray cooking spray, there's like little bubbles, which is not what you want. So I'm just taking my God-given tools and just dabbing out the um, bubbles. So now it's time I get ready for the final beauty shot. I have background, a platter, accompanying garnishes to make this beauty roasted chicken exactly what I want it to look like. I think the chicken's gonna look a little bit better if I lift the legs up a little bit. So I'm gonna take a skewer and prop the legs up on top of the skewer so they lift up. I'm strategically placing things around the chicken. If there was an imperfection that I didn't want the camera to be able to see, I'm hiding that. But I'm also making it look like this chicken was roasted with these little vegetables that I'm putting around it. Everything always looks better with a little stud of greenery in there. I'm really happy with this chicken. I think it turned out so nice. The color is brown and even, it's glossy. I love the garnishes, I think it really makes it pop. Not to mention we have our on point props and background for the whole environment. When I look at the reference photo, I really think mine looks better. You can let me know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the bell.